Hello world and welcome to Warlight. Now those of you familiar with the board game Risk may recognise this kind of setup. This game is basically just Risk Online. Now you can play in multiplayer games but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not that good yet. I'm, I'm really not that good. I'm playing against a couple of AI in what is apparently just a basic world map. Now as you can see I'm the blue guy and for some reason I cannot explain I have just been placed in the easiest region to start. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the game Risk, you land somewhere, you you, you, you know, you, you start off with five armies, you attack places, the more places you control, the more armies you get. For example, if I get this, I get two armies per turn, if I get Europe, I get five, and so on and so forth. And the idea is to conquer the world. I know, right? And the reason Australia is so easy to start off with is because, well, look, there's only one way into Australia, and that's through here, and I control that. Now, the grey bits... Are unclaimed by anyone. The coloured ones are players, as, as this obviously tells you. So I'm fighting against them. These little unaligned places, these neutral territories, will not attack me. They will not attack me. But I will definitely attack them. So let's go for it. Let's start. We're going to deploy. Uh, let's begin. So deploy. I can place the armies that I have. I'm going to place them all next. It's the only territory I have. Next phase. Attack. Right, we're going to attack them. Uh, just go for it. Okay? Okay? Yeah? I'm going that way. What now? What do we do now? What's happening? Okay, next phase. Uh, yeah, confirm. Go for it! No. Oh. Do I not conquer that? Hang on. Oh no. Okay. Uh, should we watch the turn? Should we skip to the end? Let's watch it. Let's watch it. See what they're all doing. See, they're all placing their armies. I'm placing my armies. They're invading Europe. They're attacking the Ukraine. That looks a bit bigger than the Ukraine, to be honest. And they're attacking Great Britain. Messy. See, this is the trouble with AI. They don't figure out the point of the game. If you control continents, you get more of a boost to army recruitment than if you control just individual countries. That's just the way it works. Now, I've, I've played this game a few times in the past. It's been a while since I last touched it. I don't know why I made a video on it before. But I love conquering the world. There you go. I, I should have been a bit smarter and done all them. Right, let's just skip to the end. Yeah, you get cards. One third of a reinforcement card. That is awesome. So they control way more than I do. Um, let's deploy what we've got here. Oh, well, we get six each time. All right, fair enough. Now let's attack that. Uh, okay, and you guys can attack that. I mean, we're still a fair way away from them being a threat to us. So let's just control all of, all of Australia now. Go, go, go. Skip to the end. See what happens. Oh, I've got two thirds of a recruitment card. Yeah, these guys are in direct conflict already. If I were the Aqua team, if I were AI3, I would, I would just go and invade this. Why do I get more per turn? Oh, because I've just conquered these. Right, yeah, of course, you get five per turn default, apparently. And now I get two extra because I control Australia. Well, Oceania. Australia is mine. Right, so let's just, let's just place a shit ton of armies there. Okay, and next phase. Right, get them... I want to transfer as many armies away from here as I can, because I don't need to defend this. Normally you would keep armies on all of your boundaries, just because you don't want to get attacked, but they cannot get in there without going through my main bulk of army anyway, so let's just go for it. Go! Yeah, reinforcement card, let's play it. Reinforcement card for six armies, so I get an additional six armies. This is why I love risk. There's no risk when you start in Australia, but... That's the one fatal flaw to the strategy, but, 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 it's still fun. Still fun, I'm going to take over the world, and what does a world run by Sval look like? Well, apparently it'll be blue. It'll be blue, right, so I'm going to have half my armies, right, what's half of 18, that's 9. 9 there, and then 9, oh no, wait. Yeah, 9 there. Uh, you guys can move up, and you guys can move up, just in case I fail miserably. Because I don't know how they're going to place theirs. That, this attack might go horribly wrong. Oh no, are they placing? I place 12. Yeah, see, I'm not going to win that war. I might lose that one. As far as I know, it's decided entirely at random who wins. Is it rolls of the Dice? Could be. There we go. Oh no, they've done that first. <gasps> I might take that now. Might. No guarantees. Might. Brown's getting attacked by these guys. He's just like, feck it, I'm just going to take Africa anyway. Screw you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm taking Africa. Africa is mine. Asia is the hardest one to control. But it's also the most uh, valuable one. It's hard to control because there's so many ways in. Every country bordering this. 
can attack Asia. I was mad, and I, I, I conquered that. I control China and India. I control well. There are more people in this part of the world than anywhere else. I now control the majority of the Earth's population. How does that make you feel, knowing that I'm in charge? Terrified? I'd be terrified. Well, you know. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a drink. Mm. Oh. Oh, drink of choice today is Waggle Dance. I know, right? Everyone's like, what the hell's a Waggle Dance? Apparently it's a honey beer. I'm not a huge fan of beer, but I like honey. So, you know, mix the two, maybe it'll be palatable. So far, so good. Right, let's place a bunch of armies there and a shit ton there. And we're good, right. I might attack... Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invade the Middle East because I need to get out of here. The Middle East is a hard one to hold because of just where it is. It gets attacked from all these different places, so let's conquer it. Let's make it ours. Let's get you come up here and you come up here. There we are. Just need to make sure we don't get... Yeah, I mean, the worst thing that can happen is they sneak in behind you, they flank you, and they take and start conquering Australia, because this is our foothold now. We have essentially won the game already, okay? Just so you know, this, this game is... This victory is mine anyway. Yeah, as you can see, look... There's nothing they can do about this. Nothing they can do. As long as I'm smart and don't commit, overcommit anywhere, it'd be fine. Right, let's just place a shit ton of armies there. Um, just holding on to this. Just holding on to it. Right. We will have that come in there. We will have that attack that. And then the Middle East. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go into Asia, but not with all of them. Let's go with ten. Asia. That's Africa. Asia into Africa. I know what I mean. See, I. Uh, I, I, I can't even brain today. I, I can have a brain anyway. Yeah, so, uh, well, oh, recruitment card. Good, good, good. Reinforcement. That means more people. Ooh, we conquered it. Nice. Right, let's protect this and let's make sure we hold on to the Middle East. That's always a hard one to hold on to. Always a hard one to hold on to. Right, move them into there. And then... Do you know what? I'm, go I'm going to go for Asia. The trick is controlling all the choke points. For example, this is a choke point. As long as I control that, excuse me, there's no one in here, then this, this area essentially becomes safe. I mean, you should be able to just at a glance see where the choke points are. If you control a continent, for example, if you control North America, you would want to have control of Alaska. You just pile army after army after army into Alaska because the only way you can get across from Asia to there is through Alaska, and the same going the other way. So these are important holding points. You know? That, that, that's why this, this here is a mess and it's hard to hold on to at first. I mean, if you start here, you're pretty much screwed because everyone will come at you. There's no way to defend your territory, whereas if you're down here, there's only the one way in. If you're here, at least there's only one way across. I would say South America is probably the second easiest to hold. You know? Just the way it goes. Right, we're going to transfer some of these across. I'm going to transfer five. Um attack that but then they're like that. No, I'm, I'm gonna wait until I've once I've got control of the Ural I'll go after Siberia because I don't want to leave that open if I invade here with any small amount of force I might lose on the attack and then they could reinvade they're actually quite strong there I mean I am making the most armies per turn but there's still not a lot in it let's go for it come on uh, show all wow that's an interesting move skip to the end who conquered what? They attacked me, but they didn't succeed. That's what matters. So, let's put some armies. That's probably safe, but I'm worried about that. So, we'll add a few more. We'll have that there, and... Yes, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to invade the Ukraine. Because that, that's kind of... I mean, this is safe as long as I've got the Ukraine. I'm trying not to leave anything exposed. So, let's just... We'll attack there. We'll attack there. Can't go that way. If they put any armies there and attack that way, it does kind of give them a foothold back in, but I can just reinforce and go back. It's, it's, it's not like anything of mine is going to fall drastically at this point. So, just minimal force. Minimal force. Uh, what we're going to do right there, 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 there. This is, this is just zooming through it one at a time. Yes, yes, they fought back. See, that, oh god, that, that concerns me. But I can reinforce a shit ton here, and it helps. I'm worried about that, though. That, that, that didn't succeed. Did not succeed, so we will... Right, um, actually, we'll have that attack there. Have 
then move up to there. If it helps. I want to invade, invade there. So I would like to have them get involved because I've got 11 armies there. They can't recruit more than 11. They can recruit 5, which means they could take that potentially up to 7. And then if they attack that and then with that... This is the thing you have to worry about. Um, it really is a concern. Right, we'll just go en masse that way. Just skip to the end of this one. Boom! Recruitment, thank you, an extra 6 armies. Yeah, that worked out better than I could have hoped. See how we've won this already? See how our victory is now inevitable? It's, it's just, just the way it's going to go. I mean, they, they can't really muster any force to protect themselves here. Because I've now conquered these two, I can just get China working its way up into Asia like this. Just all of my armies. See, it shows you all the ones that can invade. All the ways I can go, and that means they can invade back as well. Which is why you've got to be careful. It is why you've got to be careful. But doing that keeps me covered. It does, it keeps me covered. And then we go that way. Okay, now, once I control this, I control all of Africa and I get an extra three armies on top of that. So, let's go for it, let's go for it, let's skip to the end. Ah, I didn't quite conquer that. Didn't quite conquer it. Ah, see, that, that's, that's interesting. I mean, I can now attack from three sides. And if I do this, then it basically means that whatever happens, all these armies end up in that one spot. They could reinforce, really, but the people that are a threat now are the yellows. Look how close they are to consolidating control of North America and South America. I'd give them a boost that I don't... I, I can't really afford to let them have that, so... Let's... No, no, don't want to... Ah, oh, crap, no, 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 no. Cancel that, cancel. Cancel, how do I... How, start over. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. Right, you're attacking there with two. That's how you do it. Five. And you go across there with four. That should, I mean, that's going to leave that slightly exposed, but they can't muster a whole lot. I don't think they're going to try and protect this. I don't think they're going to try and protect this. Let's find out where they place their armies. Yeah, see, they're spreading them out. Yeah, there we go. See, they're not going to attack. They're not going to, they're not going to protect their Asian holdings, which hands me the win, pretty much. Okay, I control Africa, which means I now recruit 10 armies per turn. See, this is what I mean by my victory was assured. You know, it's a sure thing, and then I get this, I get another seven. I do this. And then I do this. And then I do that. Before you know it, I control the world. I've already got the huge, huge boost. It's a ridiculous boost. Oh, yeah, recruitment, an extra six. There you go, 17 armies. I control Asia. I control Asia. Now, I can choose to make inroads anywhere I want, pretty much, now. So I'm just gonna... do this. I'm just gonna overwhelm Europe in this next shot. There we go. All of Europe will be ours. And, uh... So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold position here. Um, I'm gonna move all the armies into one place, so there's no one sort of straggling behind. This is overwhelming force, I can afford to take my time. There we go, I control Europe. I now recruit 22 armies compared to everyone else's fire. I'm surprised the yellows didn't try and consolidate that. That would have made sense to me. But now basically I can just... There we go, 38 armies. It's, it's just going to be a case of recruiting army after army after army. I don't think there's a way for them to beat me now. I didn't think there was a way to beat me anyway, because they just couldn't get in at my core. And that gave me the advantage in recruitment, and after that point, victory is certain, you know? Victory is mine, victory is mine. I like winning, but you, you don't want victory to be too easy, do you? That just gets dull, because there's no challenge. Just no challenge. Right, let's move the European... Well, the, the British forces into Iceland, which will upset the Icelandic, because there's another cod war going on there. Fight for the cod, right, and half of that is 16. And 16, there we go. North America will be ours. We're going to be able to skip all that shit. Yes. 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 Let's put a crap ton of people there, and the rest can go there. Nice. So, North America's going to be mine. I can just keep that there. The AI will never attack a, a province or region that has more armies than itself. It's, the AI isn't stupid in that regard, but it does mean it's predictable. So, as long as I keep that bigger than that, this is safe. And given that they would recruit seven armies, because they control all this, 
Seven armies at most. They're a good three or four turns away from being able to mass enough strength to do that. And I don't think they will attack there. I don't think the placer armies are. I think they'll control on the, the, the focus send their... Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll centralise their focus on North America. I know what I meant. I know what I meant. Like 15 there. Well, North America's a tough one. Because as you can see, your forces end up splitting out like that. Which, whichever angle you come at, if you come from here, it splits out. If you come from here, it splits out. It makes North America difficult to control if someone else has a good solid foothold, especially in the south. I mean, it's easier to defend North America than it is to attack it. That's the thing. Now, there are versions of this map where the provinces are a lot, lot smaller. I might show you that in another episode. I might come back to Warlike, because there's a lot of scenarios you can play. A lot of scenarios. And... Um, one of them, I mean, it, I've played it before, it's taken me hours to do because each individual country will have its sub region So, for example, I mean, the UK is a prime example. We'll have the counties in it, or at least the regions. It'd be like the northeast, the northwest, Yorkshire, the southwest, things like that. Um, same with the US, you'll have the midwest, you'll have the east coast, you'll have the southeast, the south, the northwest, and all, all, all things like that. And it, that across the entire planet. And if you get a good, I mean, you can get a dozen or more AI playing this. It becomes really interesting watching how the nations form. Really interesting. Oh, crap. Now, let's go back to attack. I want to attack. I don't want to just sit there and do anything. See, this is pretty much the only decent way to attack North America. Coming from both sides at once. Um, if I was yellow, I'd be absolutely cacking my pants right now. Oh, and they haven't held on to it. This is what I mean. They're terrified of this, so they'll keep placing their forces there, which means they won't protect the rest of it effectively. So let's just do that. You watch the place. I mean, well, that one's eliminated, but you watch. That'll jump to 15, I bet you. They might attack that. I don't, th I don't think they will. I think they'll be too concerned about that, but let's, let's watch what they do. Let's watch what they do. There you go, see? Skip to the end. Oh, and they did attack that way. Well, that made me a liar, didn't it, right? Next one, I didn't do any attacking in that one. So let's just... No, let's not deploy. Let's, let's transfer. Move to there, and then attack that. Let's, let's just get rid of the browns. Let's get rid of... Oh, crap. You must deploy all of your new armies. All right, all right, all right. Deploy. After deploy, after deploy. There you go. 72 armies there. I mean, how many people are in an army, do you think? Hmm. Hmm. At least a few, right? Skip to the end. There we go. Brown has been eradicated, and they are now going to absolutely cack themselves. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? If you had 105 armies standing, I mean, if you assume an army is a bazillion men, that's a lot of bazillions of men. Now, let's see what they do. Yeah, they're just going to keep massing. Well, watch this shit, guys. Watch this shit. We're coming in here. Boom. We're coming in here. Boom. No chance. No chance. It's an easy victory for the blue team. Easy victory, right? And up we go. Next phase. Now I can win this here. Just watch this. This is, this is victory. This is victory. Let's just watch it. Yeah! And I go and Kablamo. Overwhelmed. Victory is mine. The entire world is Svalish. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we're going to do even more. Till then, take care, have fun, and ta -ra. If you enjoy my efforts to be vaguely entertaining, you can now support me on Patreon. A dollar, a pound, a yen, a euro, whatever you've got, whatever you can spare, all helps. Over a million fed. Thank you for watching, and ta -ra.